Fellowship that I saw was Pastor Sotar in 1994, 95. He was a translator and a new believer. And then today to see what God has done here is fantastic. Come on, give God a praise. Amen. You know what? We should do something as well today. We should thank all the volunteers that are serving in our churches, amen. But I think I need to invite all you to come on, give it up right now and thank the Lord for the praise and worship team. The sound media and light team. Yeah, the, the welcome team, the ushers. Amen, and thank you everyone that is, that's serving here in, in our churches. You know, we won't have a church without you. And so it is good that um, we are seeing God just doing a new work as COVID is over. COVID is you know, God is always one step ahead of us, right? It doesn't matter what happens in your life, He's always one step ahead. Yeah, I've got a prophetic word for Anna, but she's disappeared. I'll give it to her later. But uh, in, in the room. Oh, in the room, okay. All right, Anna, can you hear? She can hear him in the room, right? Can you hear, right? Yes. Okay, all right. A Anna, are you somewhere here? Okay, if not, but later Anna, we'll catch on. But, okay, but, Anna, Anna, God. Okay, but, but never mind, okay? You know, um, again, when God gives us prophetic words, you know, we, we hear it and it comes to pass. But what, but what we do with it when it comes to pass in the, is another thing. God can prophesy that in the future He will give you a beautiful wife or a beautiful watch. Whatever. But you can take that afterwards when you have it and you can throw it away or you can keep it, right? But you can take the problem is not the prophetic word, the problem is what we do with it when we have it. But when you have it, you can and so all of us here, we want to see what God has for us for our future. And that's what, you know, God has gifted me in some ways to do that. Yesterday I prophesied for um, three hours for about 100 plus of your leaders. But I will always do that by first telling them about the word of knowledge, what is in their life in their past. But I will always do that by first telling them about the word of knowledge, what is in their life in their past. Because I tell you your past, you know it cannot be wrong because I don't know you. And if I'm telling you your past, you know it's right or wrong, right? And then they said, wow, yeah, 100% correct, Pastor. But do you, you know this about my life, about my private life? And I always say this, I say, it's because God loves you so much, He tells a stranger about your life. 
And then your hearts are stirred, and then now you are ready for the prophetic word, which is the word about your future. So I want to. I did that earlier on in the morning service. But I can't do it for everybody here. It's impossible. We, we will have to live here for the next five days. But, but I want to give prophetic words and words of knowledge to those that are not Christians here today. But if you are not a Christian or you bought a friend who's not a Christian, bring that out afterwards and we're going to tell them about their life. But they're going to get saved. During COVID, I did word of knowledge for 100 over people and they all gave their life to Jesus. And why? Because they know you don't know me at all and you can tell me about my life, about my past. There is a God. Amen. Then there is a God that's here today. Amen. His name is Jesus. And he's going to speak to us today. He's going to minister to us today. And we're going to have an altar call afterwards today. And, God, and God's going to visit us with fire today. If you believe that, you say amen. 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 You're ready. Let's read right now the word of God from Genesis chapter 37, verse 2 to 10. អាចំពោះទីសាមសិបប្រំពីរសំទោសបាទខពីដល់ខទីដប់បានចែងថានេះជាដំណើររឿងក្រុមគ្រួសារបស់លោកយ៉ាកុបការលោកយូសែបន
นี่ตกนองจัด Amen Amen Father we just pray for your word to come today พระบิดาคนอธิษฐานสมัยพระบรรทุสมพระองค์เป็นพระบรรทุมากันยึง That once again you will use me as your mouthpiece to bless and to deliver and to free people Lord อ้ยมาดองเตี้ยนี่คนอธิษฐานสมพระองค์ปราบปราขยมยึงขยมจีมวดระบาดพระองค์ดับไปคลายพระบรรทุตะการประชีริระบาดพระองค์ In Jesus name I pray คนอธิษฐานขนมเปลี่ยนเนียมพระเยซูคริส Amen Amen And and I have a word for you. God says to you that uh, in the next in the next two years you're gonna compose two songs. But Anna, uh, I'm being prepared to tell you that in the next two years you're gonna compose two songs. But Anna, I'm being prepared to tell you that in the next two years you're gonna compose two songs. But Anna, I'm being prepared to tell you that in the next two years you're gonna compose two songs. But Anna, I'm being prepared to tell you that in the next two years you're gonna compose two songs. But Anna, I'm being prepared to tell you that in the Playing your favorite keys, and then the song will come. Hi, จำเรียงตีมวยบัตตีมวยนึกคือเชนปีเอ่อเอ่อนอตเพลงได้ได้เชียเอ่อได้ได้แอนนาโจจัดไทยนั่งเซเซเชนจีบัตจำเรียง The first song will be about an intimacy with God. The first song is about intimacy with God. Hi, บัตตีมวยนึกคือสำดาวตะเลกาได้ยืนเมียนเพียบจัดสนัดจำมวยนั่งเปรี้ยจีมาจ้า And the second song will be the lyrics will be about the freedom that people will get. ហើយបទទីពីនោះគឺបដោតទៅលើសេរីភាពដែលមនុស្សនឹងទទួលបានពីព្រះជាម្ចាស់ហើយជំរៀងនេះនឹងមានមនុស្សជាច្រើនយកទៅជ្រៀងអាមែនអាមែនអាលលូយ៉ាអាមែន You know that in life we can dream or become daydreaming បាទនៅក្នុងជីវិតរបស់យើងយើងអាចមានគេហៅថាការយល់សពឬក៏ការស្រមៅសម័យหรือก็ยังตายตายสมัยมอง You know we like to sometimes daydream fantasize you know บาดเป้คลายังตายตายโจชัดกุยกัดหายสมัยนะกุยกัดสมัยนักเขิน Yeah we we see people that are very successful say I wish I was like that person บาดยังเขิมนุษย์ได้เมียนเพียบโจชัยได้เลยไปละบายังกัดสมัยท่าโอ้ยมจังโดยกอดได้ Oh, we see this wonderful, powerful minister. We say, "I want to be like that pastor." But you can't. Oh, look who me! This God, p a k a i God, no one can do. God, you need to be a dog. Oh, oh, Jack, some chunk, no God. Oh, I see this person that I admire in sports or in any form of life, and he say, "I want to be like that." Or you can't. Oh, God, Pakai, Kerala, Kuala Lumpur, 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 Kuala To his dreams, but b n a l o k y o s a b a n men chine d a n kui t a s m a i c h o n g ban u t e b a n a i prong trung men pre matul to kan kot t o l God can speak to you also through the prophetic word or even through the pulpit. Prong ai men pre matul tam r i k t l a i pre matul r u k o pre matul n t h n g a t But when you hear the word of God, what do you do? What's your attitude? b a n a i n p e d a yeng lu pre matul prong t l a i m a k a n yeng ta yeng chlai t o p yang mai. You know my title is that you get to where you want to go. You got to go through your pit. Your prison, then you get to your palace. จำนองเชิงไม่เรียนบักจำได้ชายชายนปรกนี้คือเมียนในคือจังในเยธาบาสันในยังจังตอดาวโกดาวโจกเวสนาหนักกดบายยังยังเติร์ดแต่ฉลองกัดรันดาวปนตเนียกี้ให้นังเรชเวง You know Joseph was a man that had great potential. ลูกโยเซฟคือเชียร์ยุบชนมาเนี่ยได้เมียนสักดานอปอล Great prophecies เมียนสักดานอปอลดอกอ้อแช่เมียนดอกตัวตัวเปรียบบรรทุลดอกอ้อแช่ But the problem was that he had great pride ปัญหาปัญหาคือก่อนจะประดามเมียนนำนวด And then he began to talk bad about his brothers to his father ก่อนจะประดามเย็ดดามเรียรับเรียกาเพียบปกกอดปีไว้ได้มันละอ้อบาบองก่อน Sometimes you know a person not by what they say about themselves,
So we know that he was a man full of arrogance. And when you are prideful and arrogant in whatever walk in life, in ministry or in work, people will hate you. And this case, the people that hated him was the people closest to him. You know, we should live our life whereby the people closest to us should be the people who respect us the most. But the people closest to us know us the best. And so in Joseph's life, his brothers hated him. They tried to get rid of him. They threw him into a pit. But whose fault is it? Was it that he got into the pit? But whose fault is it? Was it that he got into the pit? It was his fault. And in life, sometimes we will go through pit in life because of the mistakes we make. With the things we say. With the issues in our life that are not resolved. And so his sin was there. His weakness was there. And so he was in his pit. How long did, did Joseph stay in his pit? Long enough for him to understand that it was all his fault. You know, in life, sometimes we have to go through the pit before we get to the palace. We will make mistakes and we would say the wrong thing in our marriage, and our marriage are in the pit. We would say the wrong thing in our marriage. And then we maybe say and do wrong things that cause us ministry to be in the pit. But you see, one thing Joseph understood when he was in the pit was that he realized in that in that depth of the hole he was in that he needed to get out of that hole. And you can stay in the pit for a short time or you can stay in the pit for a long time. It is up to you. And the, re- and the only way that Joseph knew how to get out of the pit and all of us in the pit should only get out when we repent. When we realize that we are wrong, when we realize our big sticks, when we realize that there are issues in our life that we deal with, we say, God, we need to change. And when you are ready to change and you have repented, you will get out of your pit. So I want you to know today that you can get out of your pit. I know you have made mistakes. I know we have done wrong things. But today you can get out of your pit. All you need to do is say, I will change. Say with me right now, say, I will change. I want to change. I must change. And with the power of God, the grace of God, I will change. He got out of the pit when he repented and decided to change. 
quạt ai ngớp chân tiền đào ban đời xa để quạt khai prai chất cầm đất hay quạt plap đô chỉ vật bạc quạt and then after that the blessings came hay bắt top bị quạt ngớp lang bẹp bò và bẹp chim chát lẽ mà because after that Joseph went to work for Potiphar hay bắt top mất tiết cứ lúc giờ sai bàn từ thưa ca and the Bible tells us that everything that Potiphar had in his house was blessed because Joseph was blessed. Ba chăng cứ lục Joseph ban tới thưa cái đập tiền ban lục bồ đề pha hay bị cái ban trái tha à vây vây đại lục Joseph thưa cứu sai ban lục bồ đề pha ban tới tuol bẹp bò nó phep chim rong chim ran. Amen. Amen. How do you want to be in a place where wherever you go because you're blessed they are also blessed. À vây ta dưng chăng ban được ọt bẹ đại cướp tí cái lại đại dưng tới cái lại na cái đói cái lại nu nưng tới tuol bẹp bò. Amen. Amen. When you go to your office you're blessed. The company's blessed. Because you have decided to repent and change, your marriage starts to be blessed because of you. I am blessed because I married my wife. Thank you for marrying me, Ping. I am blessed. And then later on, when Joseph was in prison again the bible said that the the jail warden was blessed because of joseph ba chăng bọt bị quật ban tơ tơ ca chót bạc can chuộp khnong pon tơ nia kia quật tơ nơ khnong pon tơ nia kia nia khnong pon nia kia ban tơ tuol phoh tiet so in the pit đoi chnae tơ lop tơ khnong ndau all of us will go through our pit because we are not perfect đoi sa yeung ot but how long we stay in the pit and learn from it and grow from it is up to us. Every great person needs to go to their pit before they get to their palace. And because you will learn to know more about yourself and what you are good at and you will learn to grow because you need to overcome. But before Joseph could go to the palace, he had to go to one more place that was the prison. And the prison was when people did wrong things to him. That's why he was in prison. And prison that means in life there will be people that will harm you and hurt you and do wrong things to you and you gotta let that happen because it will happen no matter what. Joseph was innocent but he went to prison. You know what? There will be mistakes made in life by others and we will pay the price. Look, Joseph got it will happen people will be people and when those things happen what do we do when people betray us hurt us harm us hurt us these things will happen. It happened in Joseph's life. Joseph, Joseph would have thought, you know, I've got out my pit. I've learned from myself. But now other people are doing to me. Why is this happening? He didn't say that. But you got to understand that if you're going to be a great man and woman of God in any part of society, you will have to go to your pit. You will have to go to your prison before you get to your palace. How did Joseph get out of his prison? How will you get out of your prison? How will you get out of the things that people have done to you and said to you in the past that have hurt you and held you as a prisoner? How are you going to get out of that? Joseph got out of his prison because he knew how to forgive. 
บาดโลกโยเซฟไอเจนปีปอนตันเกียบานแต่สายแต่กอดดังกอดเจดังทากอดเต้าตายเลิกเลงตัวหอยเก when Joseph was in the palace นับไปได้โลกโยเซฟนับขนมบ่อนับขนมเรจแวง at the end of the story นับจังบันจับในสายเรื่อง you don't see a bitter man you don't see a bitter man บาดยังอัดเคยทางโลกโยเซฟเชื่อมโนได้จูจัดเต้ But he wanted to still make things better for other people. But I got no mean to not chang chui chang thua rueng dai lo o prasao zem yap nea ta tai. When he was in the prison, no pai dai got thua chop nang pon tanie kia. Instead of saying being angry with God, he was helping other people. Ba chu chieng ca dai got lo o hai khang pre hai dai ban chom chop rueng ai yo de thua ba mi. Even when chui dal manu, even when bad things were happening to him, he was helping the baker and the cup bearer. บาตัวใบเจ้าก็ชอบขนมปังตัวนี้เกี่ยวเชี่ยเนี่ยโตปัญหาก็ช่วยดอลเนี่ยได้ชอบก็ช่วยคืนเนี่ยบำบัดสารนั่งถวายนมปังตาสลาย and when he did that God had his timing ไปได้ก็เทอร์ไบบ์นี่พร้องบานกับนัดไปเวลีไอ้ก็ Joseph never went back to take revenge on Potiphar บาตโลกโยเซฟบันไดก็ถ้าสองสักหนึ่งเรื่องนามวยนลอย he never took revenge back on Potiphar's wife บาจังคือกดมันได้ก็เรื่องสองสักตัวกันครูซาเพียรเยาวลกโบริพาเต้ How do I know that he is forgiven? ให้ได้ตาขยมไอ้ดังถักกดเลิกเลงตัวหอยเกิดโดย Because in the end of his story, he did everything he can to reconcile with his brothers. วิบรู้นขนมจงบรรจบในเรื่องบากดกดเถื่อไว้กรุบแบบอย่างดำไปซาบซา It's so what you have meant for evil, God has meant it for good. God ban the yeh tap bong bong ban thuo kai ka dai man lo o man le khom man ai bong ban phla pa do ka man lo o lu oi thau chi lo o khong chi vat bo khom. Guys, we have to go through our pit and our prisons before we get to the palace. Lok na bong phon yeng thau tai chlo kat ran dau chlo kat pon tan nie kiep ban yeng ai do re chi vang ban. Are you ready for that? Lok na bong triem hoi nu. Because you can grow. Look, never born. I can reach him. Right. You will change. Look, never born. I clap a door ban. And some of you are in bitterness. But I just want to clap a chop. No peep chew chop. You are angry. You're kung samba. You are unforgiving. You're not looking to hold me. Today, some of you are going to be free from your pit. Today, I want to make a new one. Means that I peep change pit and die. You're going to be free from your palace. Then change pit. What are you doing? When you need to learn to forgive yourself. Now, when you need to learn to forgive yourself. When you need to forgive other people. When you need to learn to forgive yourself. 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 When you need to learn You're gonna be blessed. No pain, I'm young. Means right, pain, young. The two poor. And when you are free, then you're gonna be healed. No pain, I'm young. The two poor, right, pain, young. Then cheer, satisfy. You see, because when you forgive, then you know that you are in peace. But no pain, I'm young. Look like to at the side, okay? Young, mean, can I suck? When you release that, no pain, I'm young. Forgiveness is the cure to your pain. Okay, can I look like to go cheer? Then I'm cheer, but I can't cheer up. Forgiveness is the cure to your pain. Jang ka ka lek lek to ku chia nam chia ba ka chui. Time cannot heal your pain. Time cannot heal your pain. Pain will leave away. Chang ai man ai chia ba. Forgetting about forgetting about it will not heal your pain. Kap chia yem bam plek chia rueng tai da ka ko man ai chia ba. Only forgiveness can heal your pain. Man ai mien da ka lek lek to tai da ai chia ba. And you need to forgive today. Da lek lek ma bo triem lek lek to. Then you be out of your prison. Jang da chia yeng ai mien sa rai phiep. Then God will be ready you for greatness in the palace. No pressure ma cha nang nuom lek lek ma bo to can reach wieng da ai cha. Do you want to go to your palace? Do you want to go to your palace? Do you want to go where God wants to bring you? Then let God shape you. Two kinds of people are going to shape you in life. Men, men, people, people, that are good, 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 that are good. And the people that will hurt you. How you know manu that thua yeng chui chap. Both of them will shape you. Jang pi na ni nang kam nat vi sna yeng. You get to decide which one will shape you. Yeng tru tai sam rai chat thai yeng chru rru aoi mui na. That is your choice. Ku chui chum rru bao yeng. If you let the people who hurt you shape you. Pa san ba yeng an nha nai manu that thua ba bao yeng chui chap. 
you will be you will become like them but you let the people who are good shape you like your pastors and your leaders you will change to be like Jesus church are you hearing the word of God today am I touching your heart today is your heart soft today or am I dealing with a rock that water cannot flow? God touch your heart today. God is speaking to you today. We're going to close. Can I have the music team? In life, there is no shortcut. You want to be great in life? You want to succeed in life? You have to go to your pit. You have to go to your prison. And then you will get to your palace. You have to. You can't run away from the situation. But it's what you will become when you are in your pit. Joseph didn't become an animal. He was transformed. He was. He didn't become an animal. He was transformed. But just sat He didn't let what the brothers did eat into him. But And when the when Potiphar's wife did what did what he, she did to him, he didn't let it hold on to him. And when he was transformed, he was ready for God to use him. Joseph was in the prison for 10 years. Hey, not a short time, okay? It was a long time. We are way and you know when he prophesied and gave those words to the cup barrier he says when you are released do not forget me and the cup barrier forgot him you know children of God when you do good things sometimes people forget but you know what? God never forgets. But At the right time, God reminded the cup barrier. There is a man in prison that can prophesy and give word of knowledge. Bring him out. And this is when you know Joseph changed. It's when, it's when he met Pharaoh. And Pharaoh said, Interpret my dream. And Joseph said this. I cannot do it. But God can give you the answer. You know what happened to him? Joseph changed. He's no more the arrogant man. He's forgiven. He had the same heart as Abraham. Remember, Abraham was blessed. This is the heart you got to have if you want to be a blessed person. A big heart. But Joseph said, Don't cut it. God comes to you because that's the heart of Jesus. Jesus died on the cross. That's the ultimate magnanimous heart. 
There was no wrong in Jesus, but he died for all our wrong. Can you sense that God is going to do something? It's, I can feel the heat right now. He's going to come right now. God's going to move today. You know, all of us will have all Joseph moments. Because whatever happens, God is always one step ahead. You know, in the story of Joseph, it starts from chapter 37. It ends with chapter 45. But suddenly in chapter 38, there is another story that comes in. Totally unrelated to Joseph. But everything related to us. Everything related to us. There was a story about Judah. He was a really terrible person. Terrible. I won't, I won't, you go back and read it. Out of the mystic of this man. Woo! Out of the mystic of this man. Through his life, Jesus came. Our Redeemer. Isn't it amazing? That story is put there by the by the Lord to tell us that Jesus is our answer in the midst of our pit, our prison, to our palace. The reason why Joseph was able to say, I can't, only God can give you the interpretation of the dreams, Pharaoh, was because he was now living for God. You know, I've sensed people here, many of you believe in Jesus and believe in God. But believing is not the same as living for God. You can believe in that God will bless you. You can believe that God can do miracles. You can believe that God will build this church. But God is saying to you, it's not about believing, it's about you living for God. Come on, there's a difference there. Don't live in deception. Don't live in deception. I'm a believer. I'm a believer. Are you living for God? That's the question. See, Joseph believed in the word of God, but he never lived for God until he had to go through the pit, the prison. Then he got into his palace because he was living for God. And many of you sitting at the back and to the front, all sides of you. Are you a believer only? Or are you living for God? When you live for God, you say in my marriage, my marriage is for God. I'm a live our relationship. I will change so that I will be a better husband or wife. When I'm living for God, it means that in my ministry or in my work or whatever I'm doing, it is for God, it is not for me. Because when you live for God, suddenly God is in your ministry, God is in your marriage, because then God is in your work. 
Because when that happens, then God is actively living in that relationship in those situations. Some of you here, you need to today make a decision to live for God. My messages are from God. I hear what God says and I write down. God wants you to know that today you need to come up and say I'm no longer a believer but I want to live for God today and you need to respond and the way you respond is by getting out of your chair to either come up or go to the sides because then I'm going to be holy chest but there's going to be holy ground and so the first group is if you're in your pit if you're in your pit, you need to get out of your pit now. And the second group is he will pull you out of your pit out of darkness to light you will come and the second group God's going to take you out of your prison no more in bitterness and anger no more in pain because like Joseph you forgive and, when you, and you forgive the people who hurt you and you release that to the Lord and wait God to vindicate you when, you, when that happens you will experience the peace and the burden will leave you and healing comes. And when, I, when these two things happen, the third group says, you know, I'm a believer. I may not be in the pit or prison, but you know what? I need to live for Jesus. Because when you live for Jesus, like what Joseph did, you will be blessed. And because of you, your family will be blessed. And because of you, your business will be blessed. You will see breakthrough in your ministry. Because you're no longer living it for yourself and doing it for yourself. You're doing it for Jesus. I know God is speaking to you. Speaking to you and speaking to you today. Speaking Speaking to to you today. Today. So I want us to stand right now. We're going to go back to that worship song, the last song. That last worship song is exactly what is this message about. Never I'm going to count to three. And I want you to get out of your chair and come into the holy ground. One. Two. Three. Come right now. 
ยังฉลาดตอบยังตัวตัวรองส้มไอ้รองตรงทัวกาส้มไอ้เจยมาส้มไอ้เจยมาเยอะหนึ่งเยอะหนึ่งทวายแบบกลมรองเยอะหนึ่งประกาเยอะหนึ่งตัวตัวส้มไอ้เจยมาเลยนะบ๊อบนมาส้มไอ้เจยมนุษย์ใบครมตีมวยเนี่ยได้กระต่ายยังจวบขนมได้ปีปีเนี่ยได้จวบขนมกระต่ายยังขมิ้นเฉลยเพียบตีใบเนี่ยได้จังรู้เนื้อทวายรองจังเคยแค่อาชาจังเคยรองลมต่อหายังเมียนเฉลยเพียบส้มมาเลยนะบ๊อบนฉลาดตอบตะการรอ Church, this is a new season for your church. God is reviving your heart. But in God's timing, God is going to do something. ขนมเปรตระบัดตรงต
Lord. Fire, Lord. Fire, Lord. Come, come. Holy Spirit, come. Holy Spirit, come. Fill, 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 fill. Holy Spirit is here. Holy Spirit is here. I want everyone to reach your hands to the heavens. And I'm going to count to three. And I believe that fire from heaven is going to come. Blessing is going to pour. Blessing is going to pour. Freedom is going to come. Power is going to come. You're not going to be the same again. It is not from me, it is from God. But if you would just respond to God, you're going to get from God. So you just raise your hands. Up high, real high right now. One. Two. Three. Feel Lord. Bless Lord. Fire Lord. Fire. 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 Fire Lord. Come. 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 Your hands are open. Come and say, You're humble. You're humble. You're humble. The humble. God will not reject. God loves the humble. He will bless the humble. He will bless the yearly. He will bless those that surrender. He blesses them. He blesses them. He bless the obedient. Bless you. Fill. 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 Can you feel it? You can feel it. You can feel it. God just told me that I want to heal people right now because they're ready. And I want you, oh, I want you to just 
replace the part of your body that's sick right now. Whatever, wherever in your body there's pain. And if, if your heart is pain because of the of, of the hurt from others, place it on your heart. Lord Jesus. You sit by the stripes of Jesus, we are healed. I believe it's happening today. This congregation will be healed. In the name of Jesus. Heal them now. Of your sickness. Of your disease. Of their pain. Healing come. Healing come. Healing come. Healing come. Healing come. Healing come. Healing 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 come. Healing come. Healing come. Healing come. Healing come. Healing Healing come. Healing come. Healing Healing come. 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 Healing come.